Kylie Minogue here answering your questions about literally anything and everything. Today, it was hard to dig up some questions, I'm not going to lie to you all, so I'm sharing the answers to one of my own questions about the crusade. If you donate right now to the WHAS Crusade for Children, does the money count for this year's total or are we already on to next year? I was curious about the question because something about getting $4.8 million isn't sitting right with me. Don't get me wrong, we're in the middle of a global pandemic, historic protesting in Louisville, and a coin shortage, and still managed millions for kids in need directly in our communities, but I want to round that number up. So I asked Crusade CEO Don Lee if it was possible, and she said yes. Money donated to the crusade in the next 20 days, so until the end of August, is going to go till this year's grand total. So there's still time to get us to $5 million, and I'd love your help getting us there. All right, the next question is about the Crystal Rogers case. It's been two weeks. What is the typical length of time it takes to identify human remains? So I got the answer from Shay McAllister in our Bargetown podcast, available on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and iTunes. So when it comes to identifying remains that are believed to be a specific person, Shay says she learned from forensic anthropologists that this has been an incredibly long time. Forensic anthropologists told Shay a more typical wait time is 48 hours when you have full skeletal remains, a DNA comparison, or a dental comparison. And in this case, they do have those elements to work with. Thanks for the questions and keep them coming. Text what you want to know to 502-582-7290. That's my phone number. You might see me answer your question right here on WHAS 11 News.